From the Washington Times, I'm Harris Alec. Speaking at Congress, Border Patrol Chief Raul Ortiz delivered a devastating picture of the U.S.-Mexico border, telling lawmakers that a majority of sectors along the boundary are unsecure. At one point, Chief Ortiz was even asked directly if the border is under operational control. No, sir, he responded. Later, Ortiz said he disagreed with President Biden's decision to cancel roughly 300 miles of additional border wall construction. Both answers contradict the official position of Homeland Security and Mr. Biden. Steve King served in Congress as a representative from Iowa for over 20 years. For the first 18, he was a beloved conservative voice. In his last two years, however, he was branded by the media and some members of Congress as a quote-unquote bad guy. King has just released a book telling his side of the story. In an exclusive interview with the Washington Times, he calls out the House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. The biggest mistake I made, and this will emerge in the book with more clarity than I can articulate here, was believing that Kevin McCarthy was an honest and trustworthy person that had some of my best interests in mind, not never, never believing that he could, that he was behind this thing in the way that he was, and that he could lie to my face on, on tape um, and not care if I knew he was lying. And finally, Diamond Sports Group, a subsidiary of Sinclair Broadcast Group, that operates 19 regional Bally Sports Networks filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy last week. The Bally Sports Networks carry 16 NBA teams, 14 MLB teams, and 12 NHL teams. In a statement, Diamond said it plans to keep the Bally Sports Networks on the air. For these stories and all of the news, visit us at WashingtonTimes.com.